When Up, Up, and Away climbed the record charts in 1967, the fifth dimension began to soar with a string of 18 top 10 hits. One less. <laughs> Marilyn McCoo sang lead on many of the songs that became standards of the 60s, and although some critics complained they didn't sound black enough, the group won six Grammys and stayed on top of the charts for five years. Marilyn McCoo is the daughter of two Los Angeles physicians. She and her two sisters were encouraged to have careers. Marilyn's interest was always music. Success came quickly, and in 1969, McCoo and group member Billy Davis Jr. were married. Television City in Hollywood, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. McCoo and Davis left the group in 1975 and worked as a duet. They starred in their own television show in the summer of 1977. Oh, it's good to be home. Yeah, I don't ever want us to work apart again. The two decided to pursue solo careers in the 1980s. Marilyn was paired with Andy Gibb as co-host of Solid Gold. McCoo continues to perform as a solo act. Her latest recording, The Me Nobody Knows, has been nominated for a Grammy in the pop gospel category. And the McCoo everybody knows is the one that was part of that 60s sound. Marilyn spoke with our correspondent Jennifer Vallopi about the music and the marriage that has spanned more than two decades. It was 1969, if I'm not mistaken, when Wedding Bell Blues came out. That's right. Is that correct? Yeah. And what year did you and Billy get married? 1969. Uh-huh. Sure did. Did the song kind of prompt the whole thing a little bit? Maybe? Not really. Not really. No, I wish I could tell you some wonderful story <laughs> about how he came. As a matter of fact, sometimes I tease him and I say, oh, yes, I was singing the song in the studio and he came out with tears in his eyes and got down on his knees and begged <laughs> me to marry him. But it, was, it didn't quite happen that way. Well, when you first got together as the fifth dimension and, and you all started working together, and then all of a sudden this relationship developed between you and Billy, was yeah. that kind of awkward? Was it sort of difficult that here you were working together? And it was awkward because... Billy and I fought a lot. <laughs> First, we started out as, as friends. Mm -hmm. And then as we fell in love, we started to fight. And uh, we would argue on the bus constantly. And uh, when we told the group members that we were going to get married, they really became concerned because they felt like, oh, Lord, <laughs> this is not going to last. And then they're going to get a divorce. And then they're going to want to leave the group. And that's the end of it all. Did you have a real sense of, of what the 60s were about and what the Fifth Dimension's role was? No, not really. <laughs> I mean, we were just out there having a good time singing music and singing happy music. And of course, we were criticized even then for singing songs about being happy and love and all that when everybody else was singing about the war. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have a unified opinion about uh, the U.S.'s role in Vietnam. Uh, so we kind of stayed out of that area of music. One of the things the Fifth Dimension was criticized for was sounding too white. Yeah. Did that used to bug you? Yeah, it did. Because uh, I felt like, you know, we used to say in our interviews, how do you color a sound? Mm -hmm. We sing the way we sing. We are black people, and we are making this sound, and this is our sound. And because we don't sound like we came fresh out of a gospel choir does not mean that we don't have a black sound. How did you deal with being so instrumental in the 60s and such a role model at, at such a young age, really? I had a hard time. It was like all of a sudden we became celebrities and people were looking up to us. And it was like, well, I can't act my general nerdy self. <laughs> Nerdy I self? have to be, you know, I have to be hip. I got to be with it, you know. Now, what do I do? I'm a star now. What do I do? They want you to be wild and different and crazy because you're a star. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do that. 
I tried being rude sometimes, you know, like if somebody would approach me and ask me for an autograph, and I'd say, not now, you know, keep walking. But I felt so bad doing that. And I thought, well, no, I can't do that. I can't treat people that way. When the fifth dimension was all together, I had heard at some point you and Billy went into S training. And it yes. was because of that that you decided to get out, to, to leave the group. Well, it's not quite that simple. I, I'd say that what happened was we took the S training, which was, I thought, a wonderful thing for me to do at that time in my life. Mm -hmm. And what I learned from S was that you take responsibility for your own life. So that was when you decided, I need to break out of my well, own. Well, you know, I really have been wanting to perform as a solo artist for many years anyway, ever since I was a kid. I started thinking about what was going to happen with the rest of my life, and what about those dreams I had before the group formed. And that was when I decided that I think the time has come that I have to go on and try something else. At first, when you did break away from the group, um, you and Billy broke away together. Right. As we were leaving the group, we both started thinking, gee, you know, suppose you become, you know, like this is Billy talking, suppose you become successful as a pop singer and I become successful as a pop, you know, as an R&B singer and we're working different venues and we see each other in the airport. What's going to happen to our marriage? And that was when we decided, well, let's do the duet thing for a while. Was the marriage more important than the music? Yes. Still yes. is? Yes, but I think that what we've done now is we've learned that there's a way to balance the two out. Because you and Billy um, were recording together for a while, now that you're not recording together, I bet a lot of people think your relationship broke up, the a marriage ended. People started thinking that Billy and I had split up when I started doing Solid Gold. So we have been trying to tell people for the past 11 years that we're still married. But you know, um, on my album, uh, Billy and I do do a duet on there. Oh, do you? And we will always oh. perform a duet on each other's projects. That was a pact that we made with one another. This may be none of my business. You can tell me if it's not. But okay. <laughs> how, come, how come you and Billy never had children? Well, it just never worked out. It never worked out. We were hoping to have children. And uh, at one time, we were really trying very hard to have children. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm, I think it's worked out very well. I, I feel like you, you make choices in your life, and then you deal with them. You seem to have just about everything anybody could want in life. You I have think success, so. fame, yeah. a happy relationship with your husband. Is, the, is there anything that's missing from your life? I would still like to be successful in, in my career. Uh, but I also, how I identify my life as being successful is different now. I want to really, I want to be able to help other people. I want to feel like I'm making a difference in other people's lives because I really feel like that is what, that is what my real reason is for being here on Earth.